Can we boost our immune system with foods, diet to prevent coronavirus? That's something that a lot of people have been trying to focus on because they are, I mean, I don't know about you, but I've been getting a lot of WhatsApp um, videos, messages about what to eat yeah. to make sure to prevent the virus from, from, to be affected from the virus. What do you, what do you say about that? Yeah, there's a lot of confusion right now, like nutrition and preventing and preventing infection of COVID. Mm -hmm. But no nutrient or food can prevent coronavirus. So that's the first thing I'm going to say. Yeah. Um, And no nutrient or food can boost the immune system. Mm. So obviously the word boost has been thrown around a lot now, but the word boost is incorrectly used and actually unscientific. The only thing food can do is support our immune system. So, you know, stress, sleep, um, our exercise, they all support our immune system. Mm -hmm. And food just plays another role in that. Do you know what I mean? I see. Um, Mm -hmm. Okay. So are there any supplements or um, herbs, garlic, ginger that can help? Like, you know, all the the supplement stuff. Let's go with the supplements first and then we do the the herb stuff okay supplement wise there's only one supplement right now in the uk and all over the world that they're talking about Mm. and that's vitamin d so i don't know if you've heard so recently there's been a study and it's about vitamin d and protecting um preventing respiratory infections Mm -hmm. so it's not covid19 that it will prevent but there's links between vitamin d and respiratory infections Okay. So this study was done in Ireland and then the authors evaluated it and recommended that people would supplement at least 20 milligrams of vitamin D a day. Okay. So that's the only supplement right now that people are talking about and might be beneficial. Mm-hmm. Um, obviously, like we've had a lot of sunshine at the moment and that's yeah. how you can get your vitamin D. But if you're at risk group, mm. for example, if you have darker skin, yeah. If you wear a lot of clothes and just your face is covered and your your arms and your legs are covered, yeah. or if you're immobile and you're in the house, then you'll be at risk of vitamin D deficiency. So you'll need to supplement anyway. Does okay. that make sense? So we can't, we shouldn't be going out. So I know a lot of people will be going out because it's been sunny uh, yeah. and stuff, but realistically, yeah. really, we shouldn't be like for the people who are actually um not going out and not uh, making use of the of the um of the of the sun how mm-hmm. how can they get their vitamin d so vitamin d is mainly from supplements mm. you can get it from a food few food sources Source, yeah. so we've got uh, like um dairy meats and green leafy vegetables and some whole grains as well yeah. um but it's in smaller amounts and that's why they recommend us to have a supplement. So in the winter months, we will all have to have a supplement anyway, regardless of viruses or anything. Do you, okay, go on. So, I, so that is in between September and March, you'll need to have a supplement. Okay, all yeah. right. Vitamin D that you can recommend. Um, you can get it from anywhere, from your local pharmacy, from um, like the Boots super drug type stores. Mm okay yeah okay um and in regards the um the herb stuff um Mm -hmm. i've been hearing a lot that um you know a lot of especially my mom she's been making us you know the ginger um the ginger teas and the lemon teas and and the garlic you know so many so many things so many herbal and um Mm things that especially my parents have been having to prevent well and also to increase the immune system to strengthen the immune system to then prevent the virus uh, or to fight it better Mm -hmm. faster um so what do you say about that and what do you what do you recommend we actually have if we can we should have any of that stuff so at the moment there's no herbs like garlic ginger or any other like leaves that sh- have evidence mm. to show that it prevents coronavirus mm-hmm. but if you have it in your diet it's not going to do any harm and okay. in my opinion like there's a quote it's called absence of evidence 
doesn't mean that it's not right do you know what I mean okay so just because there's no evidence doesn't mean it isn't right so I'm not gonna say don't have it Uh uh-huh but if it's not causing you any harm then sure include it but there's no evidence to show that any herbs or supplements Mm. like garlic or ginger will prevent coronavirus okay so I'm going to ask it, but in a different way. So what, what if we want to um, strengthen our immune system, what can we be having right now? So having a balanced and varied diet. So mm. that's having whole grains. So whole okay. grains is stuff like brown rice, mm-hmm. your um, bulgur wheat, mm-hmm. all your grains, your complex carbohydrates. Yeah. Having healthy fats. So that includes your oily fish. It includes fats like hummus, nuts, avocados, and then also having a really good quality protein. So okay. fish, mm. chicken, and so occasionally red meat. And okay. if you have all of those food groups, they're so rich in vitamins and minerals, you will yeah. meet all your requirements mm. to, to boost or sorry, to strengthen your immune system. Okay. Yeah. Got it. I really want to expand more in terms of the immune system boosting Mm -hmm. and the relationship of um because i I honestly think a lot of people think they can really prevent covid19 by having certain foods and they Mm -hmm. can really like prevent it by boosting the immune system so if you can like talk more about that so that people are more you know they understand a little bit more i would say it's really important to not focus on anything specific because or avoiding any specific food taking out foods I mean obviously the biscuits and snacks in terms of weight loss yeah sure but cutting out other food groups and including only fewer groups like say having just herbs in your day will really affect you in the long term because you're not going to get that very diet so really like all recommendations and evidence say that having your balanced diet so having all your whole grains like all the food groups I mentioned is what's going to like support your immune system and Mm. of course I mentioned vitamin d as well and we haven't talked about vitamin c so vitamin c right now as a dietitian we wouldn't recommend supplementing it you would not no but okay um that's only if you have a varied diet and you're confident you have a varied diet Mm -hmm. and a lot of people aren't very confident with their diet at the moment we're in such a like unprecedented time we don't know about our food and supply so having that vitamin c would be okay but really you can get it from all food sources if you Mm -hmm. have a varied diet um the recommendation for women is 75 milligrams yeah and for men it's 95 milligrams but that vitamin C tablets, you know, the dissolvable ones that people mm. have, they're about a thousand milligrams. So it's over 10 times that amount. That we okay. Be so you basically just, you empty it out when you go to the toilet, right? Yeah. When exactly you're having that. more than your system mm. needs. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, I was going to. Um, uh, we've been obviously. Uh, like my mom's been giving us like a lot of lemon and lime and oranges and all these things that have uh, that are high in vitamin c kiwi is really high as well isn't it yeah i think kiwi is higher than than oranges yeah even apples is really high really okay i didn't i didn't know that okay Mm. that's 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 cool um, yeah, and other ve- other vegetables, lots of vegetables have vitamin C in it. There's so many sources that we have. Like most yeah. of us are meeting it. Yeah. So if, that's what I'm saying. Like if you're if you don't have access to getting any vitamin C from your pharmacy or your supermarket, don't worry. As long as you're having your five fruit and vegetables a day and having a varied diet and having a lot of variety, and that includes juices as well, you mm. should be fine. Juices, as in yeah, like, like even fruit juice. So the maximum amount to have a day is actually only 150 mils so in terms of like like this is my bottle um this is 500 mils it will uh-huh. be probably about like this much which is nothing can you see yeah 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 yeah, yeah. oh okay um, 
But yeah. I assume we don't recommend people to go and buy the juices because they're really high in sugar. Yeah, they, they are high in sugar. But if that's all that you have available and you want to have a variety, it does count as one of your five a day. 150 mils only, though. So if you that's buy not... orange juice with bits in it, especially, yeah. Yeah. have 150 mils. That's one. Yeah. People don't take the mick. Do not take the mick, okay? Yeah, but people uh-huh. will have that. Like, it's this much. Lot. It's this much. Yeah. Okay. But it's good though because it means that you can space out a whole like one liter orange juice throughout like, yeah for like 10 couple days, of days hmm. oh, cool. wait, 10. yeah Maths. how many are you how, how many did you say it's recommended for women 75 milligrams how uh, if we if we okay so how many oranges is that how many oranges so that would be so Basically, they say with fruit, that would probably be about one orange or two to three or like large oranges mm, okay. um, would have. No, no. So not 75 milligrams uh. um, would have about five milligrams or t- 10 milligrams of vitamin okay. C. Yeah, it depends on the type and size of the orange. OK, I think. Um, mm, go on. I was going to say that there's a lot, of, a lot of things that affect it. So if you're a man, you need more vitamin C. And if you smoke, your vitamin uh, C increases, your requirements increase by 30 milligrams a day. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Well, thank you for that one. That's info. Um, so what do we, before we go on to the Ramadan stuff, what do oh, yeah. we, conclusion from all of this, for all the mums and aunties out there, for everyone who thinks they can, <laughs> yeah. they can prevent coronavirus by having the gingers and the lemons and the limes and the teas and the herbs. Yes, overall, we need to just have a varied diet. Do not eliminate anything. And yes, if you want to, you can include some. Yeah, yeah. it's not going to harm you to have your herbal tea and if it makes you relax that will probably help you you know stress contributes to your immune system Mm. you know it will not prevent coronavirus just stay at home stay at home please stay at home and wash your hands (laughs) wash your hands and yeah true 